I was living in San Francisco, pursuing my interests of photography and sculpture, uh, ceramic sculpture. And I was making my living by working with bands. Uh, I did stage work for bands. I did album covers for bands. I worked at a performance art uh, space setting up for different musical groups. And at the same time, I was seeing many, many, many movies. I was saw all of the Federico Fellini's movies, um, and they really had a visual impact on my uh, life. And I went to see one movie by Wim Wenders, and I watched that movie, and I thought to myself, what I am doing for the bands is really like a setup that is in this movie. And I thought, well, maybe there's some kind of job uh, that I could do. Maybe, maybe this is a, a field that I exists in the real world. So I started doing a research project, and I asked everybody I knew. Nobody knew anything about production design or art direction or set decoration or anything. So I did research in the library, and I, you know, you know, there was no online. So I, I um, tried to talk to as many people as I could, and I realized that living in San Francisco, there was a very small film community, and there really wasn't any way that I was going to be breaking in and uh, entering uh, into the movie business. So I moved to Los Angeles, and the first project I got involved with was a film at, at AFI. I volunteered to be part of the art department on this small film. And that year, that film went on to be nominated for Best Short Subject. And from then on, it was the people that I met and the type of projects that they were working on and friends of friends and introductions, and I was on my way. I think they view the set decorator as kind of a glamorous uh, job um, that you, you know, take a lot of meetings and uh, spend tons of money and you're always shopping and just buying things all the time. Where well, there's a lot of different aspects of the decorating job. You have to work with budget, you have to work with a lot of personalities, you have to work with a large team of people that are actually making the movie from the director to the cinematographer, the producers, and the actors. Because all these people really influence um, the environments that you are creating for the film. And in essence, we are creating an environment uh, for the action. When I first started making movies, uh, we would just figure out the sets and, from a drawing, and we would just build the sets and dress the sets. Now, there is so much preparation that goes uh, before you even start filming. There's um, pre-visualization of the action scenes that are needed. There's many more storyboarding uh, sequences. Um, there's breaking down the movie to what's visual effects and what's uh, live action. And it's um, much more of a, uh, many more teams are involved than used to be involved. So it's a little bit more complicated. And it's way more about money. Way more about money and budgeting and how much money you're spending and are you coming in on budget and what they can get for the money. And if you are not good with money, it's, uh, you have to be creative, but you have to be great with money.